be on the road now, doing show now. White bitch not that cold now, I tell her no now. Mommy tell me slow down, I'm on a roll now. What's good, y'all? It's your boy JPI, man. We back with another video, man. We back. This time another Room Talks episode with your sir. We in the room, baby. We got a camera, baby. We cleaned up today. <clears throat> How y'all doing today? You know what I'm saying? How y'all doing? Hopefully your day's going well. Hopefully, you know, your day was peaceful. Like my, my day is, most of my day is usually peaceful. Cause I try to keep peaceful people in my life. I try to keep myself at peace and not stress about anything I can't control. So, today, I wanna talk about, today I wanna talk about going, sorry, today I wanna talk about Understanding that life is tough. Can you get my face? I'm in the middle of something. No, pause, please. I need to speak with you for two seconds. I'm... Anyways, after I was rudely interrupted, like every damn video I make in my room, in my house, actually. So, <clears throat> understanding that life is tough. Life is tough. This is a very important thing to actually grasp or understand. <clears throat> Understanding that life is tough is very important because you're gonna go through trials and tribulations in life and you actually need to, you actually need to grasp a sense of, okay, this is not like, <clears throat> this is not going to be an easy ride. Like. I know for me, I can say in my life, I'm having a nice, easy, smooth ride. But most of the time, it's not gonna be smooth and easy. But there is ways to make it smooth and easy, right? Simple things I just listed, you know, hang around peaceful people. Don't stress yourself out, cause at the end of the day, I feel like everyone puts pressure on themselves to do this, do this, do this, do this, no, like, what I found is the best method to actually like understanding life and like actually like having a smoother life than everyone else is just going slow. Go slow. Take things slow. Cause at the end of the day, if you don't take if you don't take things slow, like you're gonna be rushing, 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 rushing to do everything. And also do one thing at a time. Do one thing at a take it one step at a time. It's very important because People don't realize like, yo, if you're doing like 10 things, oh, I wanna do all these things, like, no. Do one, you can, I say do one or two things, be productive and, you know, master the craft. Then, you know what I'm saying? Get the hang of those two things first before you just jump into anything else, you know what I'm saying? Like, get the hang of those two things, know how they work, know what to do, whatever it is. For example, like playing basketball, let's say you wanna play basketball, and you want to become a great shooter at the same time, like you want to get your handles up, handles and shot, you know, focus on your handles and shot, focus on those and keep practicing every single day and consistency, right? Also another way, <clears throat> another way to actually smooth by life is, you know, being consistent in whatever you're doing, like be consistent, be consistent, so, you know, set up a plan for yourself set up a little plan for yourself how like i say have daily routines you know daily routine for me my daily routine is more so you know go to work still go to work um after work <clears throat> after work you know hit the gym make a youtube video hit the gym make a youtube video you know chill out you know what i'm saying it's not every day but sometimes see your friends you know what i'm saying go check on my girl or whatever like those type of things, you know what I'm saying? Like have a daily set routine, right? The the girl the girl and like um the friends, it's always on and off. Like it, it's not gonna be every single day, but your main daily routine for me, work, gym, YouTube video, read, right? These are my four main things that I do. That I try to make sure happens every single day. I've already went to work. <clears throat> I've already went to work. Today's my day off, so the gym's not there, right? But tomorrow will be there, right? Work, day off, I'm making a YouTube video right now. And then I've already read 
earlier, but I'm gonna read more later. You always do more, cause like I'm not going to the gym, so I have, you know, I have that hour, that two hours extra time. So <clears throat> be productive and make extra use of your time, cause at the end of the day, you're not gonna do everything every day. For example, like the weekend hits, I'm actually not gonna go to work. So how do you be more productive? So expand those four key things you do, or those five. That depends on the key things you do in the day, right? Expand those even more, right? Expand those even more, and you know. For example, the weekend hits, I don't work. I can go to the gym, I go to the, okay, not middle finger. <laughs> I didn't mean to stick my middle finger. But I can go to the gym, you know, for those two days, because obviously work makes you tired, right? Go to the gym for those two days, and you know, I actually get to go in the morning when it's not as packed, instead of usually going in the evening or at night, right? So it's, it's a little better for me, right? So I go in the morning, cl clear head, every machine's available to me, so. I make more use of my time. Also, also with the reading, now I can actually take time out to read. Instead of reading like 12 pages a day, which I usually do, 10 to 12 pages, I can actually read, you know, more like 20, 30. Actually, like sit there and read the book, you know? And also, you can add something in. For example, relaxation time. You have to, to make your life easier, to smooth by life easier, you have to learn to relax. You know, you want to be productive and still do your things, but you have to learn how to relax. That's the biggest way, you know what I'm saying? If your life is hard right now, the biggest thing you need to do is learn how to relax. You know, figure out your life. First things first, <clears throat> your mental, right? So I was, I'm a big advocate of therapy. You know, I went to therapy myself. I went to therapy myself for past trauma, family, myself, insecurities all that I'm therapy for everything right go to therapy clear your head this is a person when you see the therapist it is a non-biased person a non-biased person who does not know anything about you and who will not take your side or take the um people side or your situation side they'll look at it through the middle ground and say hey okay you know you crashed your car yesterday how can we be possible? What What is the next step? So therapists, they look for the next step that's a positive way that's gonna benefit you while still taking in your feelings and caring for you at the same time, right? So biggest thing is before you can do a lot of things, you gotta get your head clear, right? Head clear, head clear. Like if your life is hard right now, you gotta get your head clear. You gotta heal from the past. If you don't heal, from the past, then you will, your future will not be able, you know, you, you won't be able to attain the future peace. Like, you know, you won't be able to attain the six months to a year peace that you can receive because you're thinking about this and this and this. You need to, like for the past, if you're not gonna go to therapist, I say this for the past, accept your past and confront it. Confront your past, right? Confront it, address it, take accountability and deal with it. Like, whatever it is. People have crazy stories, you know what I'm saying? So, it all depends what it is, but you have to deal with it. You have to have the conversation. You have to have the conversation with people. You have to have the conversation with yourself. You know, you have to... <clears throat> whatever the situation is, you need to go to it. If you need to go back to a certain place that, you know, you might have caused trouble here, you need to go back and apologize. Whatever you need to do in your path, whatever it is. It could be something big, it could be something small. You need to handle because you can't think about the past. You got to focus on the future. If you don't focus on the future, then you'll be stuck in the past and you'll just be always living back in 2010. But this is 2022, so we on a new grind, right? Another way to smooth my life, aka make your life easier, is to, you know, I think I just, yeah, address the people thing. Um, but being around peaceful people, this is second on the list. Honestly, it's it's very important to be around peaceful people. If you're around people who are in drama 24-7, get away from those people right now. Drama 24-7, drama, drama, drama. No one wants to be around someone who's in drama 24-7. I want to be around someone who's saying, you know what I'm saying? I want to be around people who are similar to me, you know, making YouTube videos, or even being productive in their life, you know, achieving some type of goal, striving for something, doing something. Those are the type of people you want to be around. Those are the type of people I have surrounded myself with. I've, you know, had to, sometimes you gotta, you know, 
you gotta do this. You got X some people out. And it is what it is. It's tough. But you gotta X some people out. Cause if you hang around five dummies, you're gonna be the sixth dummy. If you hang around five smart asses, you're gonna be the sixth smart ass. You know what I'm saying? If you hang around five millionaires, you're gonna be the sixth millionaire. If you hang around five homeless people, you're gonna be the next homeless person. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Like understand that. And also, uh, this is the last thing. This is the big last thing. You know, it's pretty big. Definitely do not become a product of your environment. You know, I understand, you know, <clears throat> there's some people living in bad areas or, you know, following the crowds, whatever. Like, you know, I'm in high school or, you know, I'm in college or wherever you are at in life. You know, I'm in this social event. I'm at work, you know. My workplace is like, like don't be a product of your environment. Don't follow the crowd, you know. Don't follow the crowd. Do, you need to know how to do what's right for you. And you need to learn how to love yourself. Loving yourself means taking care of yourself. It's not hard to take care of yourself. You know, simple things, just drink water. Simple things, do what you want to do. You know, make time for yourself. Hey, I want to do this, make time for it. Hour, you know what I'm saying? For example, if you're a person who likes to pray, take 10 minutes of your day, just sit there and pray. You know, take time out for yourself. You take time out for people all the time. You don't want to take time out for yourself? Take some time out for yourself. Take some time out for yourself. It's very simple. Take some time out for yourself. Focus on yourself. Take time. You can take time out for other things too and other people. But make sure you have that little time for yourself where you're just chilling and just enjoying, you know, maybe go for a walk. You know, a nice nature walk. Clear your head. Definitely take time for yourself, right? So these are just little things that I'm listing right here. And I'm just telling you guys, this is how to make your life easier, how to make your life easier, right? Big things, who you hang around, relaxation, therapy, don't be a part of your environment, love yourself. You no, know? you gotta do these things in life. You gotta do these things in life. If you don't do these things in life, you will not be able to appreciate who you are and your life will always be like you always be like oh my god my life's so tough my life's so tough crying every single day there's some people right now watching this probably one person right now watching this you go home from work and you cry every day not because you hate your job because you hate your life you want to be at your job or you're crying every day because of a situation you need to start taking action take action control your life make life your bitch trust me don't let it overtake you. Make life your bitch. You know, motivate people. Help people. Help people. Help people because you got out of the situation you're in. You know? It's time to change. It's 2022. We gotta change. Hopefully this this reaches one person and they help they change our life. They improve. You know, that's my goal. I'm improving as well. You improve every day. You know, I, I love myself, I learn myself, but you know. Being young, I'm still learning myself as well, but hopefully I can encourage someone out there to do good to make their life easier. Anyways, guys, you already know what time it is. Like, comment, subscribe. It is your boy, JPN. We're out.